Welcome to ChinaSecurities.com and Chinese Small Cap TV, a daily fast-paced, edgy show bringing the best press releases out of the Chinese small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great Chinese small cap investment. Thursday, March the 12th, I've got four great press releases for you. Pretty much all of them dealing with results, so let's get straight to it. First up, Global Sources trades on the NASDAQ, GSOL. They announced their fourth quarter and year-end 2008 results. I'm going to give you the year-end stuff, but you're free to go take a look at the Q4 numbers. Revenue, $207 million, up 14%. Online revenue is a portion of that $94.5 million, up 24%. I like to bring that up because online revenue, we like to see that's cutting edge technology. Revenue from mainland China was $135 million, up 24%. Gap net income, here's what I really like, $26.4 million, uh, or 51 cents per diluted share. And that's important because the company closed yesterday at $3.57. So you basically have a company there that's trading at seven times earning with some pretty uh, significant growth. And that's way off their 52-week high of $15.35. In fact, it's just below, just above their 52-week low of $3.30. So do your own due diligence, but unless there's some kind of one-time, uh, maybe some one-time uh, negative events that we don't know about, and you're going to have to find that out, this may be a case of the baby being thrown out with the bathwater and you gotta, you got some good deals here. Simsir Pharmaceutical, NYSC, SCR, put out their unaudited fourth quarter and fiscal 2008 numbers. That usually tells me a company is anxious to get their numbers out and then give you the audit numbers later because it means they probably did pretty well. And in fact, Simsir did do well. Uh, total revenue, $68.4 million. Uh, uh, sorry, for the full year, total revenue, that was their fourth quarter. For the full year, revenue was $255 million, up 27%. Now you know why we love these Chinese small cap companies. For the full year, operating income, $52.3 million, up 35.3%. Net income, $51.3 million, an increase of 16.2%. Love these Chinese small cap numbers. The companies, these numbers are just, you can't be, can't be refuted, can't be beat. I don't have an earnings per share number. They didn't break it out for us in the press release, but they did close yesterday at 552, about two thirds off their high of 1588, and uh, not too far off their little 441. So again, potentially some good value there. China ACM trades on the OTC under CADC. This is an Agorcom client, a client of mine. Got to disclose that, but they don't make Chinese small cap TV unless it's great news, and this is great news out of the company. They announced that they were awarded a $2 million contract for the Gizhou Gangzhou Railway. This is hot off the heels of just a couple of days ago. The company announced a $2.2 million contract for a high-speed railway in China, so they're doing very well in the space. What are they doing? They're going to provide uh, concrete manufacturing services for a major section of the railway construction project. China ACM's portion of the project expected to be completed in late 2010. This railway is going to allow trains to travel at 200 kilometers an hour and an unbelievable amount of capacity. Go take a look at the t details in the press release. Quote here from the chairman and CEO, China ACM establishing a niche in supplying concrete services for the expansion of China's railway system. I think that's important because it points again to the infrastructure bill that's taking place uh, in China right now. We heard from a major trucking company yesterday how they're seeing increases in power steering and truck sales, again, related to the China stimulus package. So uh, it looks like the China stimulus package is having an immediate effect on the economy. So this is something to watch going forward. In addition to our traditional concrete services in and around Beijing, we've now been involved in numerous high-speed railway projects all over the country and continue to bid for others and the success over the last over the last week on two separate contracts for about 4.2 million dollars tells me they're doing okay there they closed yesterday at a dollar 45 and finally fushi copper world trades under fsin on the nasdaq they put out their fourth quarter and full year i'm going to give you the full year as always revenues increased 72 percent to 221 million dollars uh, operating income up 21 percent to 37 million dollars Cash position at the year end, $65.6 million. Very strong company. Now, why did I save these now? Why did I save this press, press release for the end? Uh, a, a bit of a trend in the fourth quarter. It looks like they may be uh, suffering a little bit. Revenues were down 16% for Q4 compared to Q4 2007. Gross profits down 39% Q4 over the same period last year. Uh, and net income for the quarter, $4.6 million. That's about half of last year's fourth quarter, $9.3 million. So we, we, there may be a trend here. We do know copper got whacked pretty hard in the fourth quarter, but is making a, a, has, has sustained itself, stabilized it, and may be on the way back, especially if from the other press release we're seeing Chinese infrastructure, Chinese infrastructure is growing and growing fast. Copper demand is going to come back pretty rapidly. Net income for the full year down just 3.8, 3.5% to $28.5 million. That dollar per diluted share, they closed yesterday at 445, trading at 4.45 times earnings. 
Looks like a pretty good deal. As always, do your due diligence. That's a wrap. Four amazing press releases. As always, if you look for more great Chinese small cap companies, don't forget about the front page of Chinasecurities.com. Two things you're going to find there. First, all the latest great press releases out of the industry. Nothing standard or, or par for the course. It's got to be a great press release to make the front page. We've got them separated by industry so you can see the last 20 to do your research. For companies that haven't put out news lately and you want to go take a look and find your next great Chinese small cap investment, the directory links right from the front page. Over 120 companies now listed by industry in exchange with great summary descriptions so you can quickly find the one that best suits your portfolio. And let me tell you something, that directory is rich with unbelievable Chinese small cap companies. You definitely want to be in this space. That's a wrap. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.